Sight is one of the best AI-powered apps to help you find real academic sources. To use it, visit Sight.ai. This is the main page of Sight. To sign up, click on the blue Sign Up button. If you already have an account, click on the Sign In button. Once you've signed up and are in, easily type your question into the search box. I typed European Union Migration Laws. In seconds, Sight delivers articles with references. You can select the authors. You can adjust the timeline by selecting specific years for the research. By the way, if you're enjoying this tutorial so far, I would love if you could give us a thumbs up. Apparently, it really helps for the YouTube algorithm. Let us continue. Sight will also provide smart citations. Smart citations indicate the number of times an article's claims have been either refuted or supported. You can also use the assistant of Sight to ask a question or to write a literature review. This will be a very good starting point for researchers. Click on Assistant button. The assistant page looks like this. Type your question into the search box. I asked Sight to write a literature review on European Union migration laws. This is a very broad request. You can do more specific requests. Sight again provides a brief text with references. Having a starting point will be very helpful. SciSpace is a remarkable tool that revolutionizes the way we read, summarize, and comprehend research articles. To use it, visit SciSpace.com or Typeset Guayo. The main page looks like this. Click on the Sign Up button. If you already have an account, click on the Login button. This AI co-pilot acts as a research assistant, offering information when you ask it questions. To find research articles, simply enter the keywords or question you're interested in. To test it, I typed the European Union Migration Law. You type your own keywords or question. After typing press enter, papers related to your search will appear and you can open them in new tabs to explore further. SciSpace also provides insight from the top five papers. Let's open one paper as an example. After opening the paper, we can start asking questions, such as summarize this paper. You type your question on the search bar and hit the enter button. In seconds, SciSpace summarizes the paper. This is a really good summary. You can also upload your own paper or already downloaded paper to the co-pilot. To do that, go to the main page. Click on Upload PDF and you can either drag and drop the file or browse to locate and upload the file. I uploaded one of my own papers and explore the capabilities of co-pilot. Once the upload is completed, SciSpace is ready to answer our questions. Simply type your question into the search bar. After receiving our questions, Copilot will provide us with answers. For instance, we can ask, what is the summary of this paper? Copilot generates an answer again in seconds. SciSpace also provides technical features to keep the research organized. On the main page, by clicking on the library button, you can reach the collection section. Here, you can create your own collection. The collection is very helpful to keep your different projects or sections of your work in order and tidy. Using real and AMP reliable sources as your references is the cornerstone of getting a plus grades for students. Meet Sourcely AI, an AI-powered app, now with new features. It finds, summarizes, and AMP formats sources for you. Learn how to use it with this step-by-step -step tutorial. To use it, visit Sourcely.net. The main page of Sourcely looks like this. Click on Start Now. It's free to sign up. If you already have an account, click on the Login button. After signing in, it is very simple to use Sourcely. Copy a short paragraph with a free plan max, 300 characters, on which you want to find real sources. You can also copy your own notes. Simply paste this paragraph or notes onto Sourcely and click the Find Sources button. I copied a small part from my own article, pasted it onto Sourcely, and clicked Find Sources. In seconds, Sourcely finds sources which you can read and use for your academic works, essays, projects, etc. To do more professional and comprehensive research, you can switch to Sourcely Pro. You can check the prices of the Pro plan on their website.
To access it, click on the Sourcely Pro button. With Sourcely Pro, there is no character limit. You can even copy-paste your whole essay or bulky notes. Sourcely will find relevant sources for them. Here I copy-paste three pages of my same article and ask Sourcely to find sources for them. In seconds, Sourcely delivers search results. Sourcely will show you the download PDF, summary, and visit buttons. By clicking on download PDF, you can immediately access the PDF file and download it. By clicking on the summary button, Sourcely will give you a very short summary of the source. By reading it, you can quickly decide if you really need to read that source. Sourcely has shipped some great features recently. They adjusted their tool to find the best possible sources for you. Thus, Sourcely prioritizes high quality sources, such as highly cited from well-known journals, etc. Another new feature is that you export references with a few clicks. To do that, click on the three dots and export the source in Bib or in other formats. Then you can easily add these sources to your source management program, such as Zotero, Tutavi, etc. Last but not least new feature they added is Review Articles. This feature is specific to Sourcely. If you tick on the Review Article while doing a search, Sourcely will deliver review articles. This is an amazing feature if you are doing a literature review. Bonus feature. Now, if you type keywords, Sourcely will find the specific articles on your topic, but specifically related with your keywords. Sourcely follows a student-friendly pricing strategy. Today, it makes it even friendlier. Thus, they gave me a special code to share with you. Vuger Yearly 40. You can use it to get a fantastic 40% off on your annual subscription to Sourcely Pro. You can find the link and code in the description. That's it for now. Have you ever tried using AI tools for your academic research? Share your experience with us. Do not forget to check my channel for more similar tutorials.